Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. This is the final part of the Dirty Dancing Recap. We are picking back up where <laughs> Baby's dad had to go out and help Penny in the middle of the night. So Baby was supposed to go home and take off her makeup. What does she do? She goes to Johnny's house and we get the first love scene in the movie. Very exciting. Let's jump back into this and see how the rest of the movie plays out. Okay. So at his house, themes, These Arms of Mine are playing by Otis Redding. Baby knocks. Johnny answers. And we get the love scene. Woo! Chills. Okay. The dancing they do in this scene was actually... This was the scene that they used in their screen test. It wasn't actually even going to be in the film, but they liked it so much. The writer and director liked it so much, they decided, yep, it needs to be in there. Johnny says um, he's nothing and that he's never met anyone like Baby before and she's not scared of anything. This causes her to admit that she has feelings for him and, yep, then it leads to sexy time. Hello. Okay, so during her audition, they gave Jennifer Grey five minutes to prove she could play younger, since, again, she's a couple years older than her character, and that she has the moves for the role. Apparently it worked because she got the role. Cry to Me plays. It's voted one of the sexiest scenes in cinematic history. This part right here. Uh, the soundtrack started an oldies music revival. I remember having the soundtrack on cassette tape. It surprised RCA Records with how well, I don't know, just the oldies played and that everybody got so into it. The soundtrack ended up going platinum 11 times. Sold more than 32 million copies worldwide. Okay, tense breakfast time. Neil talks about the final show. They're paid up till Sunday. Dad says, nope, we're leaving. Um, and they want to know, why would you leave early? And, and mom wants to stay and sister wants to stay. And he says, it's just an idea. We'll stay. Lisa says she'll sing, I feel pretty. Baby goes to see Penny and check on her. It turns out her dad was just there checking on her and she's doing so much better. She's happy. She's still healthy and will be able to carry a baby one day. Um, it's, <laughs> it's awkward because Johnny shows up, right? And she, Penny wants to know how it went last night. And as soon as they start being weird with each other, she knows. She knows they hooked up. So Penny says, you know, you got to stop it now. You don't need to get involved in this. What are you doing? You always tell me not to get involved. Baby waits for him outside. He comes out and um, he's kind of weird. He's trying to avoid her. He says he has to run. She says, Johnny. And he smiles at her and that's that. Okay, it's raining. Baby and dad are doing a puzzle. They're going, she says she's going to go play charades in the West Lobby. Yeah, right. And uh, Lisa makes fun of her for being a joiner. Well, she ends up back in bed with Johnny. Okay. Let's talk behind the scenes. Kelly Bishop, who plays her mom. So this is kind of a funny fact if you think about it. Kelly Bishop was only 14 years older than Lisa, 16 years older than Baby, and only 8 years old, older than Johnny. So he asked her for a real name there. Her name is Frances. And Lisa says she wants to go all the way with Robbie. Bleh. Baby says, no, not someone like him. It should be with someone you love. And... Lisa just thinks she's, like, mad or jealous or whatever. Okay. So then from here, we see them doing the cha-cha. Johnny and Baby are dancing. We're watching. So, again, a great scene of the movie. Love is Strange by Mickey and Sylvia. That's the music playing. Okay. So here's a funny thing about this scene. One of the most iconic scenes in the movie, right? Where they're dancing around and being all sexy and stuff. Um, yeah, it wasn't actually filmed for the movie. This was a warm-up exercise that they turned the cameras on for, and they liked it so much that they used it in the movie. How crazy is that? It was unscripted, unplanned. They filmed it. The director loved it. They put it in. Well, then they added this, you know, Neil comes in, Neil sucks. Okay. Again, behind the scenes. The movie bombed so hard with test audiences. Wrap your head around that. Everyone hated it. They actually ended up almost making, didn't end up, they almost made it straight to video. The movie was um, brought to a producer to advise how to salvage it. His name is Aaron Russo. 
you know what his advice was? Burn the negative, collect the insurance money. He just didn't think it could be anything. How crazy is that? Okay, the company that filmed the movie, it's called Vestron. Well, they found a backer, sorry, backer in Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble thought, yeah, this movie will be great because it's a teen audience. So that's our audience. Then they found out about the abortion thing and they're like, nope, pulled out of it. All right. So Robbie walks up while Johnny and Baby are kissing. He says he's really the wrong sister. Johnny beats, almost beats the crap out of him, but stops himself and says, you're not worth it. Okay, let's talk nose jobs, since that's another big behind-the-scenes thing that happened. After this movie, Jennifer Grey got her nose done, and she ended up telling Channel 5 in the UK that having plastic surgery to her nose was the worst mistake she ever made. She was no longer recognizable as the girl from Dirty Dancing. Just someone that looked a bit like her. So then we go to Lisa performing Hula Hannah. Here's another fun behind the scenes thing I didn't know until I was researching. Did you know that Lisa, aka the actress Jane Brucker, came up with the song? She helped co-write it. Isn't that funny? So she's performing it, but she helped co-write it. Okay. Vivian is there, dun dun dun. She says she has something special, aka sexy, planned for Johnny. Her husband pays him for extra dance lessons. Well, we know how hard up for money Johnny is because he talks about it throughout the movie. He looks at the money and realizes that's not what's important to him that baby is. He says, Nope, sorry, I can't do it. Baby smiles. Lisa comes over and says, Tonight's the night with Robbie. He doesn't even know it yet. Ha ha ha. So they start playing Yes by Mary Clayton. Uh, and Lisa decides she's going to go surprise Robbie at his bungalow. Okay, so she goes to Robbie's. There's a white towel on the door. She knocks, opens the door. <gasps> Robbie's in bed with Vivian. Remember the lady that was trying to bang Johnny? Yep, she's in bed with him. Uh, Lisa's in shock, closes the door right back. We go over to Johnny's. It's playing In the Still of the Night. Another great song. Okay, then we go to, so she's leaving his house and who sees, but that bitch Vivian will get to her. Um, she sees them kissing. Yeah, she's not happy about that because Johnny's her man, right? Okay, Max talks about a member of staff stealing, being a thief. Someone's wallet was missing. Vivian says she thinks it was Johnny. Uh, does Johnny have an alibi for last night? Nope, he says he was alone in his room reading. Well, baby has to speak up. She's like, no, 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 Johnny didn't do it. He did not do this. He didn't do it because dun, 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 I was alone with him in his room. Not good. She tries to tell dad, sorry. She goes to find him, says, sorry, I lied to you, but you lied too. Gives him a whole speech. Okay, behind the scenes. This movie had a $6 million budget. It ended up making $62 million in America, but grossed worldwide $213 million. Such a good movie. Um, okay, so Johnny has to go tell her that the Schumachers, they figured it out it was them. The baby was right. They're wanted in Arizona, Florida, a whole bunch of other places. But Johnny is still out because he was with baby. And she says, I did it for nothing. Uh, he says, no, not for nothing. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. You can do anything. She said, I used to think so. He knocks on baby's dad, uh, baby's dad's door and tries to talk to him. Again, dad has it all wrong. Thinks he's the guy that got his partner in trouble and then sent her to a butcher. That's the line. Okay. We hear this song playing She's Like the Wind, performed by Patrick Swayze. He says goodbye to baby. And it's so sad, right? It's the sad part of the movie because he's gone. She's trying to get dressed, but she's too depressed to even get dressed. Lisa comes over in a sweet tour and offers to do her hair. You know things are bad when Lisa's trying to comfort her, right? So from here, we go to the closing of the show, and it's the Kellerman's Anthem that they're singing. Yes, this song actually has a name, Kellerman's Anthem. Neil is singing, and I want to flick Neil in the face. Um, baby and her parents are watching. Robbie comes by. Dad says, good luck in medical school, son. Well, Robbie says... I wanted to thank you for your help with the penny situation. We've all gotten into these messes like that. 
So it's because he's a big old dum dum and opened his big stupid mouth. He told on himself. The dad is completely confused and shocked. And and uh, Robbie says, "I thought baby told you." Penny says it was mine, but you never know, you know that kind of thing. And of course, dad takes his money back. It's a great scene. Max and Tito are talking about the changes and how things are ending. Max comes out, starts singing. Baby's depressed in the corner. Well, that's when Johnny walks in. Patrick, (laughs) this is funny, behind the scenes. Patrick absolutely hated that line, nobody puts baby in the corner, so much that he actually grimaces while saying it. You can see it in the film. He holds her hand and walks on stage. That line ends up being like one of the most famous lines. It's hilarious. Okay, walks on stage. Johnny gives a speech about baby and is really sweet. And dad tries to get up and interrupt, but mom says, sit down, Jake. I love it. It's like the one time she actually had a part in the movie. Then they start playing, I had the time of my life. And when I hear that song, I may or may not get chills. I may, maybe not. Don't make fun of me. Um, Okay, I had the time of my life by Bill Medley, Jennifer Warren's uh, top 100. It made the top 100 America's greatest songs and movies. Yes, apparently that's a thing. I found out while researching. All right. So we see Johnny and Baby dancing. This dance here, in case you're wondering, is called a Dirty Mambo. What it does is it combines mambo, ballroom, and street dancing. The choreographer for this was Kenny Ortega. Now, what's funny is Kenny was right there in that frozen lake with them when they were doing the lift. He was choreographing right along with them. Okay. So, it was... It was during this time when they do the lift that Jennifer Gray admits that she knew it had to be Patrick Swayze because she knew in her memoir, she says she knew that he would catch her if she did this. She was so afraid to do it. She only practiced twice and she knew if she did it, he would catch her and he does. And it's a beautiful scene. So they dance. Everybody's watching them. And dad comes up and says, I knew... Oh, I know you weren't the one who got Penny in trouble. When I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. And he says, you looked wonderful out there. It's so cute. Um, Everybody's dancing. And it's just such a happy movie, right? Such such a good movie. And this music is beautiful and so well done. The lighting, the costumes, even the 80s hair. I love it. The hair and makeup. Uh, We even see Lisa dancing with... (laughs) Johnny's cousin. It's such a great scene. So the movie wraps up. Everyone's dancing. He mouths the words to her that uh, to I had the time of my life. He picks her up. They kiss. They dance. And that's how the movie ends. You guys, it's so good. It's so good. How could you not love this movie? I love this movie. One of my all time favorites. Can you tell? Can you tell by the way I'm talking about it? So good. So that's how the movie ends. That's my behind the scenes of it all. I found so much cool stuff out about this movie. And I I gotta say, I think this was probably my favorite one I've ever recapped. I loved it. It was so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more like this, do leave me comments below. Because I'm always curious. And I don't know. I love doing stuff like this. If there's a cult classic movie like this, let me know. If there's an 80s movie I'm down, any movie, just let me know. I have so many in my head that I'd love to cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me, and I will talk to you again soon. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you're not already on Patreon, check that out. Real Housewives Recaps backslash Patreon. I do deep dives on Sex and the City episodes over there. I'm having a lot of fun with that. So check that out. Yeah, that wraps me up. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.